Hey, it's Tyler, crazy about compost.com, and today I decided to set up a trash can composter to essentially address some of the common composting system issues for people that don't have a lot of space to work with. So, the two main composting issues that I think are out there are cost and space. When it comes to cost, if you're buying a commercial composting product like a tumbler or a worm system, they can be kind of expensive and there's definitely more than one way to compost so um, if you don't have the space for something like a compost bin of which I have two and they're a good cubic yard or more in size but you still want to get started and you're not interested in worms um, and I don't blame you because worms you kind of have to treat them like pets although they also do the job but they can be a little tricky um, something like a trash can composter works the exact same way that a compost bin does which means it's super flexible in um, how you contribute material to it and you can still get some good results and space wise of course it's the size of a trash can so hopefully this could be something that works and as I said um, for composters in the city it's always hard to figure out how you're gonna get started so this essentially could fit in the alley uh, it could fit on your balcony and I just really think that with the right attention that this could be the ultimate solution really for anybody trying to compost at home. And depending on where you live, chances are it's not worth waiting around to see if your city is going to start picking up compost curbside. So why not take it into your own hands? And so this is yet another method that I think could work. It's really cheap, really simple. So let's take a closer look at it. Here's the full view of the trash can composter. So as you can see, I perforated the entire thing along the sides, essentially, and I tried to mimic my compost bins. So essentially, it's going to work the same way. It's just smaller, right? Uh, I added leaves in about halfway up already. And I also mixed in a little bit of sawdust and also some ripped up cardboard. And I also decided not to shred all the leaves I placed in here because uh, not everybody has access to a shredder. So I tried to mix it up a little bit just to give it some variability. But anyway, I don't have a lot of greens right now, but I did just make a kale, carrot, apple chard smoothie. So I might as well put that in. So here we go. All right, so not a whole lot of stuff as of right now. So now that I did that, now I'm going to cover it up. Because that's the one thing that everybody seems to get wrong, or it seems to be the source of a lot of problems, is that a lot of people don't realize you have to cover all your deposits. So now I'm just going to take a couple handfuls of leaves, maybe just two or three, that's it. And I'm also going to add a clump of soil, because uh, you want to introduce uh, microorganisms from outside as well. So while the leaves will do that, it's good to add a little bit of dirt in there too. The last thing I wanted to talk about is moisture. And this is the one thing that can really make or break a pile because compost piles need moisture in order to operate. So be sure to pay attention to your moisture levels and it's really hard to oversaturate a compost pile, especially when it's as aerated as well as this is. So keep that in mind because as you're going along, this will certainly help you with getting the results that you want. So I've been adding to this on a weekly basis and after about another month or so, it'll probably be about full. So what I'll do then is make a second trash can just like this and I'll start adding to that one. Once I finish filling that up, which will be a couple months, then I'll go back to this first one and I'll sift through it for finished compost and there should be some by that point in time. Although don't be rushed with it if you can afford it because who cares? Um, let's just keep organics out of the landfill and do it the simplest way possible, which right here is pretty much it. For 15 minutes and 20 bucks, you have yourself a really easy system. And if you follow the tips in this video, you won't have any worries whatsoever, trust me. So if you thought this video was useful, please hit the like button, leave a comment, complaint, ask me any questions, whatever. So get in touch with me. Uh, if you haven't checked out crazyaboutcompost.com, you should do that. I have free composting courses available, and you should check them out. And if you haven't started composting, uh, get to it. What are you waiting for? All right. Talk to you soon.